Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about modulus operator which is used in C programming. So in this program, you can see that a comment which is showing uh, objective of this program reverse of a two digit number. Uh, then a header file stdr.h is included. Then main function, it contains several statements. First is variable declaration, then printf statement, which is showing enter a number, then scanf, uh, it is reading uh, one number from user. Then in this statement, a equals to n uh, percent n. This percent symbol is known as modulus operator. So what modulus operator uh, does, it identifies or it finds out remainder values when we divide a number with, with another uh, value. So here uh, I am trying to divide n with 10. So suppose value of n is 12 and if I divide uh, 12 uh, with 10, so remainder will be 2 which will be assigned into a. After this statement, another statement is n divided by 10. So divide uh, find out quotient value. So if the number is 12 and if I divide 12 with 10, then quotient will be 1 which will be stored inside b now to find out reverse of uh, this 12 uh, i have multiplied a with 10 and added b inside the result so finally r will receive the uh, calculated result so uh, if i want to print the result uh, on the user screen so uh, for this purpose i am using this printf statement in this printf statement this percent d is replaced with the value uh, which is stored inside R. So if uh, uh, if you want to check uh, the output of this program, first we can compile this program to check errors or warnings. So errors and warnings are zero. Now we can run this program. Now uh, the window is asking enter a number. So I am entering 12. So the reverse of 12 will be 21 so the answer is correct now if i uh, solve this equation n modulus 10 so n is 12 then modulus 10 so modulus operator will provide remainder value so if i am dividing a 12 by 10 so remainder will be 2 then n divided by 10 so 12 divided by 10 so answer will be 1 which is quotient so 2 is stored inside a and b uh, sorry 1 will be uh, stored inside b so finally with this formula we can find out the reverse of a particular number so hope uh, you have understood the uh, use of modulus operator as well as division operator thank you for watching this video